Once upon a time, many years ago, there was a long and terrible war. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 is a JRPG on Fast Forward. The gradual addition of new party members, the rollout of plot twists, and other typical genre road markers come at you at a fast clip. If it normally takes 100 hours to amass a kill count of 10,000 enemies, this game lets you reach such milestones in less than 10. And as one of the many spin-offs of the 20-year-old Dynasty Warriors series, it retains the best elements of the franchise's trademark combat. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 distinguishes itself from its equally great predecessor with its free roam friendly fields of battle, which feels like an homage to the open expanses of mainline Dragon Quest games. Archers, loose! Unlike the first Dragon Quest Heroes, the sequel's premise doesn't involve the brainwashing of once-friendly monsters. Instead, you're concerned with unexpected invasions of neighboring kingdoms. It is when you embark on your journey to solve the mystery of the Warring Lands that you first realize how this game is influenced by the wide-open areas found in many JRPG world maps, minus the random encounters. By reaching the other side of these rolling battlefields, you're greeted with smaller but equally intense war zones, maps and conflicts that resemble the story-driven encounters from the first Dragon Quest heroes. Alternating between the larger spaces and these more intimate combat zones provides a level of gameplay variety seldom seen in Warriors games. Hold on to your hats. The events that unfold as you explore these territories are rich in variety. In a given hour, you could be navigating through a labyrinthine swamp with brain-teasing teleportation portals, or you could be hunting down a mischievous shapeshifter, impersonating townsfolk, or even your protagonist. Yes, there are straightforward objectives like taking out bosses or escorting NPCs but the game's exploration-focused, JRPG-inspired segments avoid the tidy but boring chapter-based story progression common in many subpar Warriors anime spin-offs. As with every Warriors spin-off, this game forgoes the exactness of stylistic hack-and-slashers in favor of the gratification of killing enemies en masse. This is in thanks to straightforward controls, where stringing quick and strong attacks into a single combo can decimate two dozen enemies. Combat shows further depth with the return of minion coins, which temporarily add the monsters you vanquish to your squad. This form of summoning loses some of its tower defense-inspired appeal from the last game to make room for a wider array of enemy powers, including the immensely satisfying ability to transform into some of the game's larger enemies. Developer Omega Force wisely preserved many of the previous game's strengths. These include classic and simple experience point driven character progression, gear upgrades, and item alchemy. The biggest draw, however, are the guest heroes from the mainline Dragon Quests, despite the strengths and appeal of the game's original cadre of heroes. They're all skilled monster hunters, although some squad combinations are more effective than others. Fan favorite Turnico, for example, is one of the few teammates who can cast healing spells, which makes him valuable during the more challenging battles. Experimenting with different party formations is part of the fun, where you're compelled to balance personal preference for certain characters with team composition. While you do have to choose a main protagonist among two heroes, the ability to switch to your other three party members on the fly quadruples your potential at effective damage dealing. Rotating through your team in order to make the most of their abilities and strengths becomes its own game of micromanagement. This presents its share of challenges and thrills, depending on the current battle predicaments of each squad mate. There wouldn't be this strong compulsion to jump from body to body if not for the modest contributions of your AI-controlled buddies. To experience a party's true ferocity, you would have to join real-time friends in the game's multiplayer modes, a rarity for a Warriors game. 
When compared to playing solo, having friends along can have a huge impact on your success rate in battle. Optional multiplayer dungeons are loaded with Dragon Quest's meanest foes, and these ferocious welcome parties change based on your level and team size. If you do come out on top in these monster-infested mazes, you leave with useful loot like a ball that temporarily boosts the amount of XP you earn in battle, which can make your next play session all the more smooth. Much like its predecessor, Dragon Quest Heroes 2 isn't short of opportunities for high-volume slaughter while effectively preserving the charm of Dragon Quest. Omega Force's thoughtful mix of familiar Dragon Quest hero designs and new features not only make the sequel engrossing, but it also shows the side series' potential for future installments. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 makes for a satisfying hack and slasher that is not only a great warrior spin-off, but is also a valid gateway into this landmark JRPG series. I hope you're ready for this.